Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. In this video, I'm going to share with you how, you know, you and I tend to work hard to get rid of our bad habits and uh, replace them with good habits. But how our nature, uh, the human nature that we have, we get drawn back like a rubber band, you know, it comes back to the original shape. We will get back to our bad habits if we are not careful and how we can maintain certain degree of consistency. So if this is right up your alley, then you need to watch the video. All right. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Lloyd Macedo. I'm a personal branding strategist. I help people get well-paying jobs in Dubai, UAE, also Saudi, Qatar, Bahrain, Oman, and people book my services for coaching and consulting, both if they have personal problems or professional uh, challenges. Okay. I always try to give them something very practical, doable, and like they say, out of the box kind of thing. Uh, details are put down below. Okay, uh, let me start off by giving you something that you can relate to. Uh, last year, for those of you who follow my channel, you can even check the videos. I took it upon myself to lose weight. Okay, uh, I was uh, the highest I was at, I think nearly 125 kilos because of bodybuilding, steroids, eating like crazy. I was eating four people's capacity and I couldn't stop. I just loved. I was a food addict. Uh, so I was really big. If you see my old videos, I'm I'm like a ball. When I see my videos, I'm like, bloody hell, man. I, literally like a bowling ball. I was puffed up. Okay. And uh, really big. Uh, you can see some of my photos. My stomach was literally like, I, I couldn't see below <laughs> my stomach. I couldn't see my mojo. That big my stomach was. And uh, yes, I was moving towards being diabetic and you know, blood pressure and uh, heart related illness and, uh, you know, cholesterol and all that, uh, that comes with, uh, you know, a bad lifestyle choice. So after years and years of exercise, losing weight, diet is up, down, up, down, up, down, losing 10 kilos, gaining back 11 kilos, losing 12 kilos, gaining back 12, 13, whatever. You know, you reach a point where you can't keep doing these exercises. And uh, during my uh, marathon, uh, half marathon training days and triathlon. I used to literally train with a professional trainer three days a week, full day. And uh, I was spending a huge amount of money. And uh, I enjoyed the journey of being a triathlete, fit as a fiddle. But then the minute I stopped, gained back all the weight. And obviously, when I came down to Thailand from Dubai, I realized there were many lifestyle choices I had to make and change. I couldn't be the same uh, dedicating three full days for exercise uh, because there were no many avenues here. This is a forest. It's a very simple place. And um, I wanted to focus on my brand and work and family. So new phase. And that is where I gained, more, you know, weight like 20, 20, 25 kilos. I, I went up to 125, you know. So finally, I chose a bariatric surgery. Uh, which is not recommended for everyone, but I chose it. And I chose the gastric bypass. You can Google search all this. And uh, by the way, there is a video of me getting the surgery. And uh, I'll just warn you, it's very graphic. There's a lot of blood and I'm naked, stark naked. You can see everything, even my masala package. <laughs> so if you, uh, some of my haters even clicked photographs of that being naked and uh, send it to me and uh, try to shock me and my group. Everyone has seen it. It's like, yeah, so enjoy, watch. It's the same thing which you have. It's, uh, I, I don't know why some people act like, ah, you know, so, okay. Anyway, that's a different story. So from 125 kilos, obviously bariatric surgery, my weight went down to, I think 80, 80, 80 kilos. Okay. So I lost all that. Um, 
and obviously i couldn't eat as much my stomach from normal size was smaller than my fist so i, I couldn't eat as much so obviously lost a lot of weight and uh, i was happy at uh, like it went to 75 but then you know like i said bad habits keep coming back now where i stopped eating sugar chocolates uh, carbonated drinks uh, uh all unwanted stuff processed food and as eating smaller portions but healthier i somehow try to eat you know because those memories are there no of eating chocolate so and finally my body kept rejecting but finally i persisted you know bad habits and finally my body could again eat chocolates little little, little bit and so i started to put on weight and i had i was going up and down but it was not like 100 kilos i was below the 80 kilo mark but i told myself the day i cross like or i come near 80 i will definitely take it seriously so i didn't bother much until one fine day after eating heavy i just check my weight and lo and behold i realized i was 83 or 84 and that took me by shock and surprise i was like i couldn't believe it i mean i spent so much money i cut a part of my body i went through all this only to go back to gain weight i was like no bloody way this is not happening and i i was no longer a young buck i had to uh, discipline myself you know come on i'm i'm moving towards my 50s no longer in my 30s man so i decided i was going to clean up my diet i was going to make sure that i lost weight and i got a treadmill i got a weighing machine every day i made sure i would check my weight i decided to follow intermittent fasting and by the way please do not try any of these steps unless and until you get either medical professional or someone who has experience to guide you please don't do it and don't think of a bariatric surgery as a quick fix solution there are massive drawbacks to it which i'm experiencing right now and it's not a joke huh? i'll tell you that it's uh, don't play with your body anything that you do people might say there are no side effects there are always side effects that's why whenever any tell anyone tells me they're going for surgery whether it's uh doing something on your face or your body or even you know this like this transgender surgeries you don't know what you're playing with it's very very dangerous okay because the body has a habit of trying to go back to the normal but now when that part of the body is not there like it creates a lot of confusion and problems and uh, just so that you know uh, for someone who goes through bariatric surgery bypass you have to take vitamins and minerals for the rest of your life because the body is not able to absorb as much as before and cannot eat as much as before okay so from 83 i started this journey of trying to uh, you know treadmill walking eating only like 8 hour window okay 6 hour that is how intermittent fasting works get up in the morning and nothing else other than black coffee uh, no sugar so i cut down sugar bread rice this that and from 83 went to 80 went to 78 75 and i have never gone below the 75 huh and to my surprise it went down to 73 72 71 70 i was shocked my wife was shocked and when i reached 70 my wife was started to say you have become so thin it's like you you're looking like a sucked out like you know like a, nearly like a skeleton and you know i wanted to see how far i could push it so i pushed it down 70 then it went to 69 then it went to 68 and i kept pushing and finally i think last but this was all going extreme huh? i wanted to see how much i could push myself i was really doing it extreme i don't want to give you the nuts and bolts because maybe some of you will be tempted to try it. don't I mean, when i went to 67 you will not believe none of my shorts my underwear nothing was fitting me i if you see those videos my cheeks look sucked in my eyes look like you know hollow i look like a skeleton i really look like a skeleton my wife was like please stop and it was only then i noticed that i'd lost all my mass my legs had shrunk 
you know, I had chicken legs, like chicken legs, like the bodybuilders have thick legs, no? My whole life I had thick legs where the inner parts of my thighs would always rub. And because I lost so much of mass, my knees started to click each other. Like when I was sleeping, uh, when I was sleeping at the side, I could feel my waist. I never felt my hip bones. I could actually feel them. So I was like, oh, I, and even my wife, would, please stop, please stop. And I also decided, okay, it's enough. I, I clicked the photograph where I showed my six pack. I was very happy. And, you know, I had all the side serratus and this and that. Okay. So then I decided to move into a kind of acceptable diet. Uh, not going too much. I kept it at 69. But then what happened is, like I told you, you know, bad habits, they come back. I started to, again, now I've introduced bread. I've introduced condensed milk, chocolates, you know, sweets and everything else. Uh, because obviously I want to enjoy a little bit of life. It, it took me like four, I think total of four months of hardcore diet and six months where I stuck to the protocol. After that, I decided to let go. Now I've completely stopped that uh, kind of protocol and I have put on weight. Now, if you see, I have a flab, I have slightly a uh, paunch, a belly. And yesterday night, I decided I'll just check my weight. And I was not too sure, like maybe I was 75. Because remember, I didn't have a stomach, nothing. I had just that waist, like just like nothing. So I was at 69. So, and now that I'm eating chocolates and all, I, I really felt I was heavy. So I checked my weight after I had food to see what would my weight be. Okay, it has gone to 72 kilos. Okay. Now, uh, more than the weight, more than the weight of the 72 kilos, I know for a fact that uh, uh, because my mass is less, you know, always remember muscle is heavier than fat. There is much more fat. I know that. I know that I'm eating, uh, you know, uh, crispy bread with condensed milk. I like that. I know that I'm having, you, you know, putting a little bit of sugar in my coffee uh, later on. But if I go back to eating right from morning and afternoon and evening, I know I'll go back to 80. And then it's going to be a struggle again. So that is why, even though these bad habits have come back and they keep drawing you back, they keep sucking you back. Uh, you go back to being like normal, so to speak. I've decided, okay, I will enjoy my life, but I'll maintain certain degree of discipline. And that is where from morning after I wake up all the way until maybe max, say, uh, two o'clock or three o'clock, I'll not eat anything. After that, I'll eat. Okay. Before, when I was doing my diet and uh, that uh, intermittent fasting to the extreme, I was not eating until six and sometimes even nine o'clock. Sometimes I would fast even for a whole day. So where before I was breaking my fast at six o'clock or nine o'clock, after waking up in the morning, imagine, nothing all the way till six in the evening or nine in the uh, you know late evening so i you know now i'm at three o'clock which is fine so the the point i'm trying to make here is just as i got drawn to my temptations the normal so to speak lifestyle with the bad habits you can get pulled into your bad habits, like for example, you will discipline yourself to lose weight or read a book or meditate or, um, you know, avoid smoking, avoid drinking, and you'll replace it successfully with a new habit. And you have succeeded for two months, three months, six months, nine months, one year. But then you can make a mistake. You can make a judgment in error. Or you might say, yeah, let me just give it a try. You know, what is there? Just one puff or one uh, drink. Or, and before you know it, you get sucked into that world. And then you'll go back to square one. And this you can see mostly with people who smoke, drink, who are into drugs. 
they just take one misstep and uh, they go back and this can also uh, you know the chances can increase if you have same old friends same old relatives or you have pressure some people do this out of pressure uh, just to relax themselves they get into this or wrong company you know you you go back to the same old friend circle that you once had it can really suck you in so right now for me um it's not a struggle so to speak but i don't have the drive to literally stay hungry until 6 or 9 in the night i don't have the drive i'm i'm being very honest with you like that time when i was doing the the intermittent fasting and exercise my drive was to show people uh, this is what i can do and uh, it felt good the attention and the response but now it's like ah, i don't feel the drive but i definitely do want to hold myself accountable that is why i still don't eat until uh, in the, in the afternoon so be careful and remember bad habits come back the biggest thing that i would want to leave you with is if you are not careful and if you start slipping there is a price to pay and sometimes when you get new opportunities in life because you have improved whether it's a new relationship new boyfriend new girlfriend because you are now slim or you got this new job promotion because you have disciplined yourself you are coming to work on time you are um uh, doing everything properly by the books and then you start slipping you might actually lose what you have worked so hard for and once you lose that maybe you'll not get it back so just keep that in mind so this is what i wanted to share with you and uh, always remember the hardest thing is to stay motivated the hardest thing so that is why internal motivation is very important more than external you need to know your value system you need to know why you're doing what you're doing and uh, the the best solution i can give you in order to stay consistent don't do so extreme don't do not do so extreme that your body and your mind is dying to stop it if you do that way then 100% you will fail but if you do it enough where it is not too easy but it's not too hard it's not so painful even though it's uncomfortable then maybe you can push through it like for example me um till 3 o'clock i can manage i i can manage 3 4 staying hungry it doesn't kill me although i do feel sometimes uh, sometimes uh, the only exception that i do make is if i'm doing physical work in the house or i have to go out and do physical work in the sun and all that and i know that uh, my body will start uh, you know playing all games and i'll be lethargic or tired i might just have an orange that gives you slow release of sugar uh like it's fruit it gives you sugar okay uh so that kind of keeps me okay and then i substitute uh, include this and i have black coffee otherwise sitting at home not burning any calories and yeah one more thing is before i has to exercise and you know go outside do the run and then i has to do the videos which was like 2 hours or 3 hours of walking now i have completely kind of stopped it because you know rain and i just feel a little lazy i'm being honest with you so yeah so over there also you need to know your motivations and uh, what really drives you so overall remember try to be as consistent as possible and i have the treadmill at home so i can do it at home so try to be as consistent as possible make it easy for you to do it don't make it hard don't make it so painful that you say i don't even want to think about it man because if i would keep doing it to the extreme i would just get out of it and never want to do it again so i keep it enjoyable i keep it okay if one day i feel like having a pizza in between uh let's say 12 o'clock or one day i don't feel like okay today i'll just have a soup in the morning or i'll eat something say mcdonald's morning breakfast once a while you can give yourself a break so you can relax but remember everything in moderation everything where you enjoy the process and enjoy the journey that's what i tell people not just the destination because like my destination where i reached 67 kilos fine but then 
I was not enjoying the process anymore. So make sure everything should be long term. Only then it's effective. All right. So here's me wishing you all the best for your consistent journey. Do things in moderation. Do it enjoyable. One step at a time. And then you'll succeed. All right. Anyway, good, bad, ugly. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you have any tips and uh, do share your success or your failure stories because it might help other people connect with you and uh, relate to you and maybe get inspired by you. All right. You guys take care. This is me signing off.